Hey guys, so today we're doing a quick unboxing of a Citizen Watch. It's the model number GA1050-51B. Let's get started. It is comes in a classic Citizen boxing and it is a woman's watch. So it's much smaller than your traditional men's offerings. And this one features a stainless steel bracelet that's polished on the outside and brushed on the inside. And you have a push button clasp, which have the double safety feature. That means if you only bump one side, it's not gonna pop out. You have to push both sides to pop it out. So it is quite nice and secure on your hand. And of course, there's a few removable links down here for much smaller hands. So that is good. On the dial, take off the plastic. It is actually features real diamond on the hour markings. So those are real diamonds. How cool is that? And for me, I quite I quite love, love Citizen's uh, Echo Drive series of watches because they use solar to power their quads movement. So the battery never needs replacement. And in comparison, I have my wife's um, also a Citizen Echo Drive, but this is a titanium model that also features a uh, sapphire glass display. Um, and this one, the one we're unboxing today, it is stainless steel and it actually features a regular mineral crystal glass display. The mineral, mineral crystal from my previous experience with Citizen's watches, it, if you're not careful enough, if you're a guy doing a lot of outdoor or everyday activities, it's really easy to get scratched. Um, so that is something to take into consideration. But this will be this works perfect for a dress watch because it's so simple, it's so elegant, and there's just not much. It's it's not it's not a crazy design. It's it's a very simple design, but it's very effective because. It's got whatever elements that you need to quickly identify the time and of course at the same time look classic. Um, the watch dial from the manufacturer, it says it's 29 millimeters. So let's see if it's actually 29. So the dial with the crown is about 31 millimeter and without the crown is 29.73 millimeter okay or 29.7 and in comparison my wife's echo drive titanium it is with a crown about 29 millimeter and without the crown about 26.8 so 26 millimeter is, is actually on the uh, smaller side for women's watch. The 29, at the same time, it still looks quite small, but it's slightly larger. So it's a little bit easier to read, um, less stress on the eye. And the thickness wise, let's see how thick this one is. And by the way, this is actually a gift for my uh, mother-in-law because she needs a uh, a watch uh, or a replacement watch and we found this so the thickness is 7.6 millimeter the advertised thickness is 8 millimeter so that's good it's less thick than the uh, advertised thickness and in comparison the titanium it's actually thicker it's 8.21 millimeter okay So let's go back to this watch. And as I said, this will be a great dress watch. Um, and because the, the hour markings are very nicely decorated with diamond, it's also easy to read. 
there are some other models in this theor theories. Um, I think this whole theories is called axiom series, so it's more of a modern, um, simplistic, abstract design. And uh, some of the models in this series doesn't even have any markings over here, so um, they sacrificed readability for, I guess, more abstract uh, modernism. Um, but this one, I think it's a very good compromise because not only does it look good, it's very easy to read. The hand and hour are actually um, polished stainless steel that, you know, if there is a light source, it will actually reflect light. And if not, it displays a kind of dark color, which is also easy to read on a white background. And that's pretty much about it. Um, let's see if it's easy to adjust the time. And one thing I find kind of annoying is um, the crumb. Sometimes it doesn't have any texture to grab. So if your hand is sweaty, it's kind of hard to turn. But for this one, it's, it's not too bad. But still, if it is a little bit textured, it will be easier to turn. Let's try the date. Because my wife's titanium echo drive, this one, even though it have a textured crown, it is very, very hard to adjust the date because it, it feels like there's something stuck inside. So it's very hard to turn. Um, and this is not a perpetual calendar, which means uh, you have to manually adjust uh, for the date for the la last day of the month. So this one, it's also non-perpetual. So you have to actually turn it to yourself. Let's see. And I always find those hard to turn. So for example, now I'm trying to turn the date and maybe it's downwards. Yeah. And it's it's quite annoying because sometimes you have to go through the entire cycle of the date to get to the date you want. And and that's just hard. So this one, it's a little bit easier. But still, it's very slippery. So I've done it ad advice to get some sort of um, silicone anti-slip thing to put on your hand and start turning um, counterclockwise to adjust the date. But other than that, no complaints. The time is easy to adjust because it's all the way out, so you have more of a grip. But the date is kind of hard, and that that is my only complaint. Uh, about those smaller watches and that's it thank you guys uh, so much for watching and if you have any questions regarding this watch feel free to comment below and i'll be happy to answer the questions for you uh, as best as i can take care